place my hand upon her knee, yo ho, yo ho. Place my hand upon her knee, yo ho, yo ho. I place my hand upon her knee, she said I'm with green, with me, get in, get out. Good morning, everybody. My name's Marcus, and welcome to Fried Chicken Fishing. Today, we're out here on Black Beards Island, where the Queen Anne's Revenge made birth, and we're Spanish mackerel fishing, just like he was fishing for Spanish galleons back in the day. We're fishing some gotcha plugs, some gunslinger jigs. We're out here rocking the Spanish mackerel. They're out there thick today. I can feel it. It's going to be a really, really, really good day. Hopefully, we can turn this into a catch and cook if I catch enough of them. They're kind of small. You got to keep them at, uh, you got 12 inches here in NC to keep them. You can keep 15 a day. I got a bunch of people back home to feed. I'm really hoping I can put some in the boat. Let's do what Blackbeard did and scare the hell out of the Spanish. Let's go. I don't know if you can see this from here, but there are so many fish jumping right there. It is obnoxious. Hopefully I can cast to them. And I think there might be some blues under there or something. Oh yeah. Let's go. There we go, hooked up almost immediately. Look at that. Oh, look at that, we got some Spanish Max over here. Heck yeah. First cast. Look at that, I don't know the size limit on these. I think it's 12 inches and that looks a little small. So we're gonna toss them back. But that's a Spanish mackerel right there. First cast out here with that gunslinger. These things are slippery. We're just throwing them back in. I think they're back in. Let's see if we can catch ourselves a bigger one. Let's get back over here. Woo, man, we're fishing now. Holy shoot. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Look at all those Spanish right there. Let's go. Right here, let's just cast it right through. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my God, I can't even. They're gonna jump in the boat in a second. Oh, there we go. We got, oh no, we missed them. Let's do this. Let's hook one of these and cast right through the school here. We'll pull it back. Oh, missed them. Oh, I think I got bit off. No way. I got bit off by one of these things. Holy smokes, all right. We're gonna have to rebait on the fly here. I got a few different baits here. I got another gunslinger. I got a mirror lure. But I think this gunslinger is what we really want here. Come on, come on, eat it up. Eat it up, eat it up. Eat it up, let's go. Eat it up, come on, take it, take it. Oh, that silver one was the ticket right there. I'm not liking this green one, but we don't have another silver one. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We don't have another one of those, but we do have this big old silver gotcha plug here which is silver, the same color they were hitting. We're gonna send this sucker out through that same school. All right, let's get this, come on, eat it up. There we go, we got one, that was quick. They really like the silver. Look at that, that's a good one right there. All right, we're putting that one in the, we're putting that one on the stringer. As soon as we hooked that last one, my batteries died on both my GoPros. It props to all these kayak fishermen that are doing this all the time. It's really hard to change a battery in a kayak. We got to paddle all the way back up here to this piling. All right, let's go. Eat it up. Eat it up. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It was so quick. One cast into that school. Oh, I tail hooked him. Look at that. That wasn't even up front. 
Oh man, he just broke my line. Look at that. He just broke my line. Broke me off just by getting his teeth on there. No wonder his teeth are super Look at that. Ah. Do a little release of you pretty fish. There he goes. He's a little bit smaller than the one that we have here. All right, I gotta get rebaited up now. I've gotta get back to shore. This thing broke me off. It's so hard to rebait on a kayak. How do all these kayak fishermen do this? I'm missing out on primo fishing. By the right of Davy Jones, this is a shellback speaking. Look, I found the map to Blackbeard's ancient treasure. Forgotten for hundreds of years, X marks the spot to subscribe, ye mateys. I know you've been learning how to catch the Spanish mackerel, but it is time now. Subscribe, click that subscribe button. A big old mess of Spanish feeding all of them. Now they got some pretty sharp teeth on them, so we gotta hook them quick. Oh. Oh, there we go, we're on. Look at that. First one, look at that, whoa. All right, now they gotta be 12 inches. This one's 12 inches for sure. Now the problem is the current here is ripping. So I gotta unhook this sucker as fast as I can. Let's get this sucker back. Oh, this current is so strong. These fish's teeth are super sharp, like a razor. I have a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with a uni knot at the end of that braid right now. I really don't have many of these plugs. I really didn't think I was gonna see Spanish schools like this this morning, but I was paddling out. They were just everywhere. All right, we're good. Let's make another cast right through the school. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Super fast. Oh. Oh, actually, this might be kind of bigger. Oh, we hooked him in the side. Look at that. They're so thick in here, we didn't even hook him the right way. Look at how beautiful that fish is, though. Man. All right. It's another one. Get him in the leader, and we'll paddle back up. Oh, look down, you're standing in your grip. There we go. All right, they're just right up. Look at all them, they're just jumping everywhere, hitting these bait fish. I'm just jigging this quick, because I really don't want them to grab anything else other than that lure. Whoop. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh, these are beautiful fish. Kind of like, like, like spotted tuna. They almost look like sea trout a little bit. Beautiful fish though. Just really got to make sure. Oh my gosh, he's hooked everywhere. Really just got to make sure that their teeth don't touch your line while they're flopping around like this. Because they will break you off quick. This thing is bleeding everywhere. It's the middle of May here on Topsail Island. It's Topsail, not Topsail. If you ever visit here, which you should because it's an absolutely beautiful place, absolute favorite vacation destination. But if you visit here, make sure to pronounce it Topsail. Topsail, just like that. And this is where Blackbeard and his gang of unruly privateer, Queen Anne's Revenge, his ship. So it is very fitting that we're targeting the Spanish today. You know, it's said that he may have buried some of his lost treasure here. So if you come here with your family, maybe you'll stumble on a chest of gold doubloons or Spanish galleon. Or maybe you'll just hook up to a big old school of Spanish mackerel here. Get our plug into the water instantly start going it's not going to take long it's every cast it seems oh there we go we had a hit nope 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 come on every cast let's do a 
Don't make me reposition. Oh, there we go. We're hooked up. What's up, man? Spanish. Ton of them out here today. It's crazy. Just a beautiful fish. Nope, nope, nope. Like I said, you really don't want him accidentally biting your line because he'll bite you right off and you'll have to sit there and re-school everything else. Alright, we're right up at this school. Watch this, one cast. Just boom, right through the middle of these suckers. Just plug it, just jig it quickly. Oop, there we go. Oh, nope, missed him. Oh, got him. <laughs> I had like four bites on that single cast. There we go. God, these things are just thick in here. He's actually kind of small. We're gonna let him go back. We're gonna make another cast, see if we can pull a bigger one out. Hey, we're working for it today, but it's worth it. Look at this. Boom, let's go, let's go. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, there we go, nope. Eat it, eat it. Oh, <laughs> see how close we get it. Oh, look at that. Wow, we actually pulled this. You're a lucky plug today. You pulled, went all the way through that school with nothing. Let's go, let's go. We got it. Oh my God, we just got bit off. See, that's what happens. Spanish Max, destruction. Hero lure, which I think is gonna work. I'm gonna tie that on. We're gonna toss this out. I bet you this is gonna pull some pull some decent fish here let's do this all right let's say our prayers here that these mirror lures is gonna work it's gonna work just as well guys i have the feeling boom boom oh no it didn't work on first cast that's not a good sign let's go oh no is not good at all oh there's some big ones back in there come on that's not a good sign that is not a good sign at all that hurts that hurts a bit what do we got we got 9 30. all right all right ladies and gentlemen this is the game plan here we're out of plugs that are going to catch these fish we've been fishing for like 45 minutes we caught five beautiful spanish max here i'm gonna gut these things i'm gonna show you i'm just gonna gut them real quick i'll show you we're gonna go over to the sports shop we're gonna buy one of those cheap foam, foam coolers we're gonna put these on ice stick them in the back of the truck grab a couple more gotcha plugs and then come back out here and see if we can hit another round if i can't hit another round i might skip all of that in the video and just bring you right to the cooking of these for lunch later because these are going to be absolutely delicious let's go I will see you on the bank. All right, let's go get some gunslingers. I just bought this little fillet knife cheapo thing at the bait shop because totally forgot mine at the house. And just take out all these guts and throw them back into the sound. <sighs> Got some more of these gotcha plugs and i got an 18 pound invisible steel leader now i really really don't like using steel leaders like this but because we're getting broke off one after another by these little spanish i think it's almost a necessity to not waste all of our money on lures let's toss this out there they are oh look at that right at the edge of the boat look oh that's a blue oh those are blues all right All right, I think the days of Spanish mackerel may be behind us, and we're in blue country now. We hooked one blue like right at the side of the boat and lost it, but it was a little blue. We wouldn't have kept it anyway. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send the drone up, and we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to see if we can find any of these fish jumping anywhere around here within paddling distance, and we're also going to take a look at this beautiful scenery so I can show you where we're at. I'm going to show you where the ocean is. I'm going to show you where we've been fishing right by this bridge so you can get a good idea if you ever come here where you want to go. Let's send it up. All right. All right. This is us right here. 
Let's see where we're at. All right, all of that's the sound over there. That's where we were paddling first thing in the morning. We didn't really find any fish and I'm gonna turn it around. And that's facing all the way down to the south side. And we're coming around and out there is the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Look at that. Oh man, it's so pretty. So, where we were fishing this morning, is right under those bridge pilings over there. That second one over from the left actually was where we were hitting. We got that boat right there that just rolled up on us while we were blue fishing. See our kayak down there? Man, this is just absolutely beautiful water out here. It looks like this comes to a point here. Let's get a little bit closer, and see if we can see any Spanish jumping show you where all these swashbuckling pirates used to make birth. <laughs> so the reason they call it topsail is because when the merchant ships would sail out there, all the way back there in the ocean, they'd see the tops of the pirate privateer sails and they'd know to stay clear. This is a 26 mile island and all of this is beautiful sound back here where you get basically every Atlantic species of, of fish you got. I mean, you got blues, you got Spanish mackerel, you got kingfish, you got giant redfish, blues. I mean, all of the bait fish, huge schools, schools of mullet and croaker and spot, sea trout, everything's back here. Yes. Set it up for one last look. Let's just enjoy the scenery. Let's go. There we go, got one. We got, oh, that's a little blue. Oh, he's too small to keep. But we got the blues. My God, they are feisty, huh? Okay, calm yourself the <laughs> down. Wow, pretty little blue. Look at that. Whoop. And there we go. Oh, they're over there. Come on. I feel it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Take it. Eat it. I'm hungry. Let's go. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. We got him on. Woo. This feels a little better. <laughs> Look at the acrobatics on this fella here. Come on. There we go. That is a good Spanish Mac right there. Heck yeah. Oh, we had him hooked right in the side too. Woo! Look at him. That's a good one. We at least got one more, so our trip back to the sports shop was totally worth it. All right, so just like the other ones, I'm just gonna gut this one Spanish real quick and just get them on ice. After they die, everything starts to break down, including the guts, which can spread to the meat. That's the same with every animal, pretty much. I'm just gonna make a slice right here, and I'm gonna slice up behind the gills, just like that, right down. And with that, you can pull all the gills out. One shot, just like that. Chuck those into the water and then pull all the guts out. And then inside you're gonna have this little bloodline. Just stick your thumb in there and push on it just like that. And then 
give it a rinse in some salt water. There you have it. You're all gutted, ready to go. Oh, all right. Let's get the kayak back to the rental place. Next time I see you, we will be cooking some fish. Ready? Boom, everybody. Welcome back to the beach house. We got our fillet knife. We got all of our fish. We've got a bucket of ice water. That's all we're gonna need. Oh, freedom. It's the sound of freedom. All right. Anyway, so we have our Spanish mackerels, our little guys today. Just a lot of little Spanish mackerel out there. We're gonna eat this with the skin on. All we're gonna do is come behind this fin at an angle. We're gonna cut down. We're gonna turn the knife until we feel the bones and we're gonna ride it all the way down to the end. Boom, ride your knife, boom. All the way down, open that up, all the way down. The rest of that, fish food, don't need it. Cut out that belly meat, just like that. Now again, you can stop here if you want, beautiful fillets, or if you're like me, you got kids, choking hazard, get all those pin bones out of there. Just like that. Open it up, throw that away. Two beautiful fillets. They go in your ice water. Make sure you get this as cold as soon as possible. You can wait the rest of the day to cook it, but you wanna get that as cold as possible, as quickly as possible. Keep your fish as fresh, fresh as possible. There we go, look at that. Take that out, beautiful. Two last pieces. All right, there you go, super easy. We got a whole bowl full of mackerel fillets that we're gonna be cooking up for dinner later. I will see you at dinner time. Let's go. Too bad, huh? Let's grab one of our Spanish mackerel tacos here. Easy to catch, easy to clean, easy to cook, and super easy to eat. If you liked today's video, please hit subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And as always, I will see you at the next one. Later. Later.